Hello everyone and uh, welcome to episode 20 of the uh, Scottish Silverback podcast. I almost forgot the name of the fucking podcast there. Uh, it's been a while. Um, I, we had a bit of hiatus um, because I was I did not have the fucking energy to do this. I know people think like, oh, it's just sitting in front of a fucking laptop, but um, no, nah, I... T- yeah. Processing words is harder than you think at that stage. Uh, yeah. It was just... Um, I just couldn't, mate. And even today, like, mate, I was close. I was close to saying, yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> but, yeah. um, nah, fuck it, we're here now. So, um, yeah, um, how have things been? We haven't really, obviously, we're best mates, but I think the communication between the two of us has been pretty pretty shallow recently just because we're both obviously so busy and so focused. So, uh, what's been happening, mate? Oh, well, mate, like, I'm sure you're probably the same. Every day is, like, Groundhog Day. So, it's Aye. just, like, really... It's weird, I'm sure you're probably saying, but like, I get excited just to get up. Mm. Like, I want to get up, I want to see how I look. So, obviously, I send check ins every day now. So, I really want to see if there's changes made. Uh, if, like, obviously, the, how hard I worked the day before, if I can invent the plan, if it resembles my physique, nailed the diet, nailed everything I could. So, yeah, every day is just a bit exciting in that aspect. Um, but yeah, every day is just exactly the same. Like, if you I could tell you, if you told me a time, I would tell you exactly what I'm doing at that time of the day. It would yeah. just be the same thing. So, yeah, just really groundhog day every day, making sure I'm bringing the best I can. I'm sure you're exactly the same. And now you've got a little bit of chill behind you with your win. You want to speak with that? I am. Um, <clears throat> so as most people know, I've done a, I've done the Bodies by O2 Bros um, last Sunday. And um, that was the first show in two years since the Mr. Universe. Um, and I'll put my hands up and say that, like, I was rusty on stage, uh, just purely because, like, two years, mate, and it's, um, you know, I pride myself on my pose and my presentation. I just, I didn't think it was bad, but, like, I just felt it was me, but just rusty, you know what I mean? Like, a few cobwebs and that. So I set the goal of kind of um, just working on my pose and a wee bit more and presentation from now until the Arnold. Um, so like now I do, I still do my three rounds in the morning, but I do them before my cardio. So it kind of ties in my cardio. So I'm doing my three rounds and then I do five rounds of my posing routine uh, after I've prepped my meals. So, um, but I'm taking it like a lot slower because see before I was like, fuck it, let's just hammer through this posing as quickly as possible. It doesn't matter, whatever. And that reflected on stage because like, I don't know, I just felt I just felt awkward in some poses. I was like, I, I can tell I haven't practiced as much, but I don't, I don't think it showed because quite a lot of people mentioned my presentation. I think it's got standard me- you hold yourself to. Like, obviously, you're yeah. you very known of your posing. Your posing's been your thing for years, so I think it's just the standard you hold yourself to, but I mean, like, probably compared yeah. to everyone else you go up against, it's probably just absolute night and day. It's probably just the precision you really want on stage, mm-hmm. like, flawless. Which is nothing wrong with that. It's like if you want to hold yourself to that standard, then fuck right. yeah. Because I mean, that's where the big fucking like folk are going to look at you more than look at anybody else. If you're that flawless, but even you think like fuck, I could have been like five percent better there, but it means like nothing when you're that good. I I was saying this to Reagan and my training partner that like <clears throat> a few things about this qualifier. Um, it's six weeks out, which is quite a long time in the grand scheme of things when you're already in shape. Um, and you didn't have to win. You didn't have to place to get to the Arnold. I just, I just felt going into it, I was just a wee bit like, you know, what I mean, like, ugh, you know, like, obviously, whereas now, like, with the goal set now, like, we know the Arnold's fucking happening, and uh, it's just ugh, we're both <clears throat> switched on. And we're both insanely dedicated, but there's still levels you can take yourself to, new levels. And I yeah. think having getting that qualifier done and out of the way, I'm sure you'll be the same next Sunday. Um, it will just flick a fucking another another level, another switch. Yeah. Um, so and I'll say I had I had three days off. Um like both me and you can eat, we can eat like disgusting amounts of food. So in that sense, I don't think I went nuts. No. For those three days, but if, like if you compare it to an average person, yeah, it's probably a wee bit sickening. But um, post show, standard fucking um, white chocolate raspberry cookies. Oh yes, 
Yes, it's like a, it's like a tra- tradition. You've just oh, got mate, to it's got to be done. Not, yeah. fucking sense, but I'll be good. Oh mate, it's got to be fucking done. No, these were Tesco ones, but like, oh, the goes. Yeah, so I cheat. I cheated on Sainsbury's, but they were. I um, find them better. Like sometimes they're a wee bit. Less, like the fucking the Sainsbury's ones are raw. Aye, and, like, the, the fucking Tesco's ones are OGs. You have to get into Sainsbury's at like opening time to get the fucking best ones, but the what happens to the Tesco ones is they stay like more moist through the day, but then they kind of get soggy towards the end of the day. So anyway, um, so I pack it at them. I had a six inch sub from Subway. Honestly, just a tur- just turkey breast. Like I fucking, I'm, I'm not adventurous about it anyway. And then uh, bits and pieces of shite. We went for an Italian, which is fucking amazing. And then sat in there, ate ice cream, watching Rush Hour 3. So that was Sunday. Class, it was fucking class, mate. And uh, we went to small mate- things like that, mate. Little things like that. It's like the little things. It's like normally you're watching a film, but it's just like having an ice cream. And it's just like Aye. the stress of your shoulders gone. It's just the enjoyment of it so much more. Aye, it was. Um, it was when we sat in the restaurant and we just sit each cross each other like that. Like this is fucking weird. This does not feel right. Um, but no, the Italian was amazing as well. Um, and then we we're in London all Monday, and uh, obviously you you know London quite well as well. So it was a case of like. So for my breakfast, I had I had a bowl of fruit and fibre meat and yogurt. It was fucking class. It's just like so simple. Honestly, it's the little things you don't like. You would never expect just the whole. Aye, it was great. It was dino. It was so yeah. dino. Um, and then we just had bits and bobs. So we went to like this cookie place called Creme London. We went oh, to Donut good. Time in Soho. We went to we went to the Borough Market, but it was shite. Like because of COVID, it's fucked. Like there was nothing there. We went to the Camden Market afterwards. I uh, went and got like, this Greek gyro thing. Um, what else? Oh, just bits and bobs throughout the day. Like honestly, I didn't take the piss. I, I by my standards, I didn't take the piss. And then I just, um, I just love exploring London. Just I, it's, it's so classic. On Instagram, everything. It's like, and you just see that like, it's not just like. Obviously, you know you're walking about Glasgow or uh, Aberdeen. It's like it's the same shops. It's the same like things like. You see all the time where it's like Aye. a chain, but then you see these quirky places in London and it's like what you see them, you're like, oh my God, that looks amazing. It's just little things. Yeah. yeah. I'll never see it again. So you kind of need to get like a little taste of it. It's good. Aye. That was my first time at the Camden Market. I fucking loved that. I'm going straight back there next yeah. time we're, we're yeah. down. Um, and then came back on Tuesday. Uh, mate, I was so excited to train. Obviously, I'm fucking pumped up. Um, went train chess and buy is probably one of the best sessions of the fucking year, and uh, and we went to a place called Babs in Glasgow. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a it's a Greek place, and uh, and then we went for some cookies and ice cream and stuff at a um, big lick. So and that that was at no point what did I feel kind of like sick or anything because I, like I said I didn't push it. Oh, I I just kind of I'd have it like we went to Creme London, which is this cookie place. I had one cookie and I was like. No, I want more, but I'm I'm not having any more. Yeah. And then, uh, so we went to Big Licks, finished it, sat back, done. That was it. So it was uh, definitely what I needed. But uh, so I went up nine pound, which I don't think is fucking bad at all. That was and uh, and how um, depleted you were, I guess. No, I sorry. From like how depleted you probably were, and that's probably getting an awful lot. Aye. Right? So like I competed at two forty one point eight. And I was two forty one point eight this morning, so it's um, it's That's kind of back to hmm? from the weigh in or the morning of. Uh, the, sorry, the weigh in, the wet registration is two forty one point eight. Um, so I it's 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 fucking come off easy. So, um, I, yeah, right. but no, the show itself, I've never done two blows before, and um, obviously I'm not trying to suck up anyone's arse, but it was running fucking brilliantly. There was a woman backstage, I didn't catch her name, but she was like a fucking drill sergeant with like the times, telling everyone to get glazed, tan, pumped up. Like sometimes you're just left your own devices and sometimes you miss all sorts. So I'm hoping she's at the Arnold, um, keeping us right. So, yeah. but no, it was it was brilliant. It was really good. Um, but like I said, mate, I, 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 a switch has been flicked and it's game time and... Uh, you see, for me, I was going to say, see, I'm, 
I'm I'm different. Like you see this regional because I know it's like the main. I would I, I really want to say it's like probably the top group of guys that are going to be competitive like against people like us. Like and that to me like I know I've got to be fucking on it. It's not just mm-hmm. like I want to just turn up and qualify. Like this it's strange, but this to me is like I want to make a statement in a sense. Like I want to turn up and just be like so much better than last year and like honestly I want a lot I want to fucking win that's just like how that's obviously that's what we're there for I want to win I want to win the overall I want to make that kind of statement at this show against like these guys to like obviously everyone know like I'm here for fucking business I'm not just here to turn up to fucking qualify for the Arnold I want to make like a good statement here of how I look because I mean I've busted my ass this year to fucking make the improvements I've made and I really just want to present it in the best way I can Mm-hmm. So, like, this to me is right now is more important than the Arnold. But I know, like, as soon as that's done, the Arnold's going to be so fucking important. But I'm glad uh, I'm thinking like that. I'm not just like thinking, oh, it's just a fucking quarter coffee. It doesn't really matter. I really am focused on this show and I want to turn up and do really well. So it's good like that. Because um, obviously, you know, all the guys that are competing and they're good. So I really just want to fucking get up there now and get it done. I mean, yeah. No, no I know what you mean. Um, <laughs> There's no denying for me that your qualifier is going to be fucking nails, man. But um, like you said, if you, if you get the result you want, you get the overall, then you know you're in good standing for for the Arnold. So, yeah. um, aye, different kettle of fish. But I know what you mean. It's, it's going to be a different mindset for you because just kind of a different level. I mean, the guy that I competed against in the super heavies, he was good, good shape, good size and that, but under his own admission, he was he was um he was not in condition. He wasn't shredded anyway. No. So um no, I mean like cool. it's, obviously everyone's speaking about this show. I mean the matter, I think it's over three hundred athletes that are doing the show. Mm. I, I, I don't know how many done yours, but I know this is the biggest regional of the year. Like it's the most athletes going to this. It's the one that yeah. kind of saved up for. So I do know it's gonna be a big fucking day. And I know that the super heavy class is probably the most stacked it's going to be. Yeah. It is going to be good. I, I want to see who's actually going to turn up of the other bodybuilding classes. That's going to be interesting because yeah. some good guys obviously turned up to the previous show. So I want to see what's going to be coming into the overall of that. It'll be good. That'll uh, be class, mate. It'll be good. Has, um, has Jordan changed anything? Have you started loading or? No, just uh, today I've had a high day. Like I woke up. Uh, well, he said yesterday I'm looking quite flat and he wants to see how I look tomorrow. And it was quite a drop. Well, it wasn't a drop. It was probably like 0.2 of a drop, but like my look changed dramatically. No pop to my quads. Um, I was shaking in some poses. So like I know when I'm sh- my legs are shaking in poses, like in my front shots, I'm flat. Because Aye. I just can't keep my quads tense. Like yesterday, I could flex them and I had like deep insertions through my quads and their sweep was round. So I knew they were there. Today it wasn't there. So I do knew I was flat. So Jordan was just, uh, so whatever I have in my diet, he was like, go and add 100 grams of carbs extra to every meal. So probably like well over 1,000 grams of carbs today. Uh, do you know what? Everybody you say, oh, it's fucking good. Like, mate, it's a slog. I'm sweating trying to eat my meals. <laughs> so, but I, I just keep, like, I'm not doing anything daft. I mean, like, he gives my own device of, like, what I can have. I mean, I've just had bagels and cereal. Um, I had, like, one low-fat muffin. Uh, post workout with other stuff as well because I've got two meals quite close together so I didn't want to have like a massive bloating so I just had something quite uh, carb dense so I had that um, yeah just uh, keeping it quite sensible uh, cereal always digests super easy and bagels are just easy to put down with food Aye. But, um, I'll see how they come tomorrow but yeah I'm feeling a lot drier and even full already so it'll be interesting to see tomorrow but my weight's staying quite up a bit i mean that's the flattest i've probably looked at 113 kilo mm-hmm. so i'll see what i'm I'll probably be up just over 114 tomorrow see how Aye. no that's cool um imagine jordan's like patrick a wee bit like kind of just taking it day by day and and monitoring it so yeah there's there's, there's there's some days we need to make changes and the next day it's like a couple of words like yeah mate look fucking fantastic nothing changes and it's just mm. see what happens the next day but the look every day changes a little bit, or even if I'm just getting a touch better in the poses, like I think it's my back. My back's getting a lot leaner throughout every day. Like my back double changes all the time. So that's that's a good indicator at the moment. My back just like my lower back just getting crisper and crisper and crisper. 
I know that's like the fat's still dropping off there while I'm still staying like quite relatively full. Yeah. So that's a good indicator at the moment because everyone else is quite tight. My leg, my side leg today was probably my tightest and driest and separated it's been. So that's another indicator of how it's, the fat's still coming off, but I'm just running out. So yeah, but um, I don't know what the plan is this week. Like I said, it's just going to be day by day, but I know he's probably going to start feeding me a little bit. I think he's just going to see how this, well, today turns out tomorrow. And I'll take it as a good indicator. Yeah. <clears throat> that's cool. Yeah. yeah. So wait and see. But no, it's been a good, I mean, training's been really good. My strength's kind of increased, which is quite strange. I thought I'd hold quite well, but it's actually increased through a lot of lifts. This is probably the last three training sessions probably of, First time I've actually really struggled to keep my numbers. Um, but it's just I feel really tired in the session. I think my body's just like, okay, we're we're kind of we're kind of there, we're kind of low Aye. body fat, don't give me anymore. So, yeah, people people like but, feel to re- like remember that you can be on a shit ton of food, but if you're X amount lean or X amount for, away from a show, that in of itself is fucking that's yeah. just, drains you it's so draining it's so yeah. draining walking about like see um so obviously reagan's never been to london so mm-hmm. i was like we'll go to buckingham palace right and i know my way around london i know That's how to walk around london. Walk. oh mate like i was like do you know the mile you like, yeah. that way you're like fuck that's long yeah you know, you know the gates at the bottom of the mile we were there and she's like it's up there and i was like yeah 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 it's buckingham palace is up there and i was like fuck i'm gonna have to walk okay. this and like, don't get me wrong, I'd eat a lot of shite, but you're still super fucking lean. So it's like every step, I was like, <gasps> you've got like a lot of energy about you, but you're just like, you're feeling Aye. like, you that bit and you're like, shit. It's just like momentum carrying you. Mm. Like it's obviously, you know, warehouse is like two flights of stairs. And I'm just like, every day, like, fuck. Uh, and it's mm. like every step's getting, I'm actually like tripping going up the steps because my foot's just not wanting to come up. <laughs> like once I get in the gym, like I can go to that place where it's like headphones on, it's like I can know like what I've got to do in my sets, and there's a different surge of energy comes. But like before that, it's like Ugh. I know. I what I leave the sofa. It's the same with future, mate. Future's obviously got like huge staircase at the bottom, but um, I it's like stuff like I, I live in a top floor flat, so um, it's like taking the bins out of my heart. Oh my fucking god, no. Or when I had my, when I've got, when I'm looking after my dog, like, he looks at me, he's like, I need a piss. I'm like, no, you don't. You don't need a piss, mate. Just fucking mm-hmm. shut up and stay, stay there until I've got the fucking, a reason to go outside. Yeah, it's like you see yeah. a fucking uh, dumb and dumber. It's like, just go, man. Just fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'd rather just, I, I should just piss yourself, mate. I'll fucking grab him up. Fuck yeah, it. I'll, get, I'll get it later. No. No, I'm not cruelly. I'm not just there. Uh, I do let him out. I do let him out. Um, I think uh, what else has been going on? I mean, like I said at the start, we've, we've not really been in contact. I've not been in contact with anyone really. <laughs> um, Same as any prep, but you kind of just like, it's fucking weird. Like, you don't have the energy to end of it. You don't have the energy to text people just to speak. It's just like, you just like think they could piss me off in this text. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure I want to argue right now. I'm not going to text them. <clears throat> so it's just like little things like that. Like, I really don't want to get into that conversation. Aye. Get and fucking up your ass. We um we rented. I did end up renting a car in Maidenhead. I uh, since since you done that, I I rented one as well. I mate, fuck it. So, I'm so glad we did not use Ubers mm. or trains. Oh, sure, fuck that. Hmm? I was going to do trains, but like Ubers are sure going to cost you a fucking bomb. Nah, man. Trains weren't could... that bad. It was like a tenner, but I was just thinking, oh, the apartment's like 15, 20 minute, like car. So I was going to get a taxi there, get a tan, registration, tan again the next morning. Yeah. Go so then, but the apartment after that, I was like, nah, I'm not doing that. So I was like, rent a car. But then I've been through five fucking flats in Maidenhead. Five? Five. What are you doing? <laughs> Mate, like, honestly, first one, brilliant. Smack bang town centre, good 10 minutes from the venue. Brilliant. Brand new flat. Boy mailed me two weeks ago. Uh, sorry, I can't give you the flat. My mate needs it. I'm like, I'm sure there's a fucking rule against this on like Airbnb where you can't just do that. I've paid. Mm-hmm. And he's like, no, uh, my mate needs it. And I was like, that's not really an excuse, mate. I need an excuse. And he's like, 
apartment, well, no, he goes, I'm sorry, but it's actually none of your business. It's my, my apartment, I'll do it as I please. I was like, what the fuck, you absolute asshole. So I was like, I didn't want to argue, so I just cancelled it. Uh-huh. Found, found another one that was a bit further out, like another hundred pound more. I was like, fuck's sake. Booked it. Ten minutes later, the room and mailed me, goes, oh, can I uh, just inquire about what you're staying here for? And I was like, oh, I've got a bodybuilding competition. She was like, oh, sorry, I can't let you stay. I had bodybuilders staying two, two weeks ago in the wreck the place. I was like, oh, fuck. So cancelled that. Well, sorry, she cancelled that. Um, I had another one. I can't remember what happened. Um, the person wouldn't get back to me after I booked it. I was needing to know something about like the kitchen and use and stuff like that. And they wouldn't mail my back. So I was like, well, I don't know. I'm going to have to cancel it. So I cancelled it. I got my money back for that. Then there was absolutely jack shit. There was nothing. Absolutely none. I was like, I was stressing. All there was was shared apartments. I was like, fuck's sake, oh, I leave fuck it with anybody I don't want to share. And then there was just one and it had like its own room and its own bathroom. So I was like, I can just fucking hang out in there because he's kicked me quickly. He'd piss off. But then I was like, I just can't. It just wasn't sitting with me. I was like, I'm not sharing with a guy. Nah, it's just not happening. Yeah. So I went on last night and I looked through pages after pages after pages. I found brand new uh, apartments for the same price, but it was in Slough. So right. I thought, right. I've got the car. Brilliant. Fucking booking that. So I've got a brand new apartment I'm staying in. Oh, well, thank fuck. <laughs> so it's not a fucking step. I don't know how you yeah. get in fucking situations, man. The apartment we were in, the guy was like, um, so there was like a, there's obviously in you know, Airbnbs, there's like welcome packs. Mm-hmm. And it was like, one of them was like, if you're going to use fake tan, something, 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 like rules on fake tan. And I was like, that's odd. And then the, the boy, it was like, they built this extension on the side of their house for the Airbnb. It was actually really nice. And uh, the guy came through and he started talking. He's like, oh. I'm just putting two and two together, but it's, 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 he was speaking to Reagan. He was like, is, is your man doing the bodybuilding show? And she was like, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, I had guys stay two weeks ago. And there's like, oh, they're really nice, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, ah, they must have fucking got tan all over the bed sheets and shit. That's why that woman probably cancelled for me. I probably. So, like, we, we, uh, I always bring a black bed sheet with me. Well, that's what I was going to do, but I've only got, like, carry on on the plane because oh, we're only okay. there for a day. So I'm just going to sleep. And my stuff is which I I done last time, which I'm fine with. I don't need to cover anything. I slept in like black joggers and a black hoodie. Aye, fair enough. Um, I'm my tits off. I was gonna say aye. So back to the car uh, rental, right? So the we went right through six uh, car rental at like Heathrow. Yeah. So we waited about an hour and a half in the queue. We were so slow. I can't believe how slow these people were. And then we got up to the desk and we realized why they were being so slow because they were doing DVLA checks. Mm. And um, they were like, the guy the guy behind the counter was like, right, I need, um, I need your national insurance number. And I was like, who in 2021 knows their fucking national insurance number? Mm-hmm. And I was like, I was like, mate, I haven't used that since I was 16. Why would I have that on me? So I was getting pure crab at I've been standing for an hour and a half as well. Like, why would I have that? He was like, I need it for the checks. I was like, well, I don't have it. And he's like, right, well, okay, I'll have to do this. I'll have to do that. I was like, oh, fuck. It's in my tax return. So I was like going through my phone, through HMRC. And I was like, here's my tax return. Right, right, I've got it. And there was other things. I was like, fuck's sake, fuck's sake. You're having, like, not having a go at the boy, but I was like, ah, mate, this is fucking ridiculous. And then he saw my postcode. And he was like, G41. I was like, yeah, yeah. He was like, Shawlins. I was like, yeah. He's like, I'm from Shawlins. And I was like, oh, fuck, I feel bad for giving you shit now. <laughs> and uh, I'd only booked like a, a, an A3 sized car. Mm. And uh, he said something under his breath. And I was just like, what? What? And he went, Ugh. I was like, yeah. And uh, it turns out what he was saying under his breath was, I'll give you the Audi Q2. <laughs> I was like, all oh, right. So we went down to the car and I was like, the Q2 obviously opened up. I was like, oh. That guy's actually sound as fuck. I was giving him so much shit, mate. I can't believe he like he did that. But um, and then we get to I done my my workout. I have to do a quick pump workout. I don't know if you saw Reagan's story, but um, we're in the car park, and this guy had like a an S class AMG, 
And I was like, oh, mate, that's fucking so nice. So we drive past, go to the entrance, uh, go to the exit, sitting there waiting for the traffic to pass, bang, right into the back of us. Fucking yeah. proper jolt of fucking, you gave Reagan whiplash. Like, she's been to her physio and she's got whiplash. Fuck's sake. Turn around, it's that guy in the fucking S-Class, in the uh, Mercedes. And I get out, I'm fucking raging, but like, I was going to have a go at him. I was like, how did you fucking hit us at a slow junction? And it wasn't just like a small hit. It was a fucking proper bang in the back. And uh, he's like, I'm so sorry, mate. I just like, I, I, was, I just wasn't paying attention. I was like, oh, you're nice. <laughs> I was like, I can't have a go at you. Um, and I was like... I crashed the car at like 10 minutes before going on stage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what I thought of, mate. I was like, fuck, I'm doing a Greg. Fuck. And um, yeah, mine's just way worse than yours. I think the whole side of the car off. I well, that's the thing. He took the the bodywork uh, popped out, the bumper popped out. Um, I couldn't get back in, and I was like, "Mate, I need to take, I need to take your details, mate, because they're going to kick off." Got his details, and then the the night before we returned the car, I managed to get the bodywork back into the car. So obviously, we didn't report it, and I got my, I just checked, I got my deposit back. So um, there was no nothing came of that, but I was just like. There's always a fucking, you know when you compete, there's always a fucking story about something that goes wrong. Why is it like... I mean, it's very rare to all go fucking smooth. I know. I don't, don't crash. I've, I've so never cra- Yeah, I've crashed once in my entire life. Never had any issues in Glasgow, ever. And then first time, I'm in this fucking town for five minutes and I get fucking banged in the back of me. Um, but <clears throat> that was a minor speed bump, pardon the pun, um, of the weekend, so... Um, Travelling's like see travel boys shows. It's just not as like straightforward as people fucking. I, like. Either that or like you have to spend a fortune just doing things right because there's so much to do and you're like I could just save a little bit by doing this instead of like going out all in this because I've got to go yeah. pay for this as well. And it's like little things like that. Just like you really, if you wanted to spend the money, you could fucking be spending a fortune. Why? Oh, really need to try and save on some stuff. It's I mean, um. Nightmare. There was, um, I was looking at Airbnb and I found a penthouse in the 30 to, 32nd floor of some building in Birmingham. I was like, ah, fuck it. Like, you know what I mean? Like last show of the season, I was like, I'm just going to go all out. I was like, no, oh, don't. <laughs> um, it's just, it's it's not worth the amount of time you'll be there. That's the thing I, know, I always think I about. It'd be cool just to be there for the night, but fucking, it's just not worth it. You see, when I couldn't find anything, the prices of some of the things was insane. It was twelve hundred pound for two days in Maidenhead for a summer. I know. I remember seeing some of them. Um, Fuck. I know, mate. But like uh, for the Arnold, I, just, I booked. Um, we're actually not in Birmingham. We're closer to Coventry, so it's fifteen minutes from the NEC. So this this wee fucking cottage in in the country. So I've got I'm that right at the back of the NEC. Is it? Yeah, I am right at the back. So like, I wanted to just go off plane and like be right next to everything. But then obviously we're going to. London Sunday morning, so we're just gonna get the bus, which is like a tenner. Fair enough. Which is yeah, because I was gonna get the train. The train was seventy two pound each. I was like, mm. yeah, no. fucking <laughs> no, no, um, the bus takes exactly the same amount of time as a tenner. Like I'll take that. I don't know if you saw um, Reagan's stories, but um, we've sold our pro show tickets. Oh yeah. Because so, I mind when I said to you, are you gonna go? And you're like. Like, mate, I'm fucking competing. I'm, I'm a fuck going. You know what I mean? Because it starts at five and ends at half <laughs> 11. I'm like, and I went to Arnold USA four years ago and they come on stage at five and then the pro body was are back on stage at fucking like half 10. It's mm. fucking such a long night. And I was, and then Reagan turned to me yesterday and she was like, do you actually want to go? And I was like, no, I don't. I really don't want to go. So we managed to get punt the tickets pretty quickly. Yeah. So um, I just going to, Chill, but I've got a photo shoot on Sunday morning with photos by Jay. Oh, yeah. So the plan is to go back onto the diet that Patrick gives me from like the day before the show. Yeah. Go back on my diet. The photo shoot's at nine. And then after that's when I'll kind of call the call it a day in terms of the yeah. season. So um, I, would, like, I wouldn't need pro show tickets because I'm going to win and get to go on the pro stage anyway. So that's it, man. <laughs> You're not gonna make me bite, mate. You're not gonna make me bite. <laughs> You've already fucking copied my hairstyle, mate. You're just trying to be me, mate. I'm well shorter than you. I fucking shape this bad boy. 
I'm gonna get this like a fucking shaved line, like be nothing. <laughs> I was actually gonna get fucking like tram lines in my eyebrows. I thought, oh, fuck fuck off, man. <laughs> well, no. uh, uh, did you watch any of the the shows that have been on, like the pro qualifiers? I just bits and bobs. Yeah. I haven't actually like sat down and properly like, looked for them all, but um, because Poland was today, I see um, I see Joel got third. Yeah, he actually looked really good, and I think he. I, I don't know who won, but I guarantee I could pick him out. A guy who had uh, really good uh, arms and legs. Waist, his waist was so short, as in like compact. Um, but I, th- I think that's who won. If I was looking at the lineup, I would say that's probably who would have won. But supposedly the guys who took first and second were Polish. I yeah, Ray, know, Ray, Ray, like, the guy who was saying is they looked a bit biased because Joe looked so good. But Joe, Joe did look good. That's probably the best Joe's looked. He was big, full, and yeah, I saw I saw his post there. Um, it'd be interesting to see more photos. But uh, Reagan said um, the guy that won was Polish. So I was like, <laughs> I think I think most of the lineup was Polish. So it's it's it is what it is. It's like it's like the Arnold UK. If a British guy wins, the Polish guy is going to be like, oh, it's just because they're British. So it works both ways. So, yeah. but I mean, like looking at the obviously looking at them. <sighs> I think most shows recently have been quite questionable from the top spots, but I mean, end of the day, everyone keeps saying it's it's a fucking subjective sport and it's the judge's final decision, so you need to just take that in. Joe's one of these people that does take that very well. Mm. Joe is obviously a very humble guy and he, he knows that. He's said that in his post many times and it is what it is. He enjoys what he does. I think he's going to be doing Finland in two weeks. Um, the guy, obviously, I thought was fucking so close today was Jimmy Tonk. But the guy that beat him, holy shit, he was peeled. That's yeah. the guy I showed you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck yeah, I, was, I actually spoke to Jimmy today and he just said, mate, I've never in my life seen anybody that peeled. He's like, it was literally looking at like an, an anatomy chart. And he spoke to the guy and the guy was like, mate, like, I don't know if I would actually ever want to get this lean again. And he's literally, I've been on my deathbed for two weeks. He's like, oh, like my insides hurt. <laughs> That's I, fucking... I, I, I don't know if it was, was it JP's post or it might be Jimmy's post where he was just like zero carb fucking for days and shit. I'm like, hey, Jimmy. Aye. Aye. Yeah. I think uh, he's done the same as like what he did with Neil's. He wanted to get him in the weight cut. Aye. Uh, like, yeah. Well, before. So, like, the feed, like, so before weigh in, you can actually start feeding them into the weigh in because obviously people try to cut the weight like fucking right on the limit. But he worked them down so he could feed them into it. So it wasn't like a drastic carb up. For, right. I mean, that's obviously the issue with like making weight classes and classic weight. The guys are like right on the cusp and then they can't really fill out and dry up in time. So it's like get them down much lower than get them into it. Then yeah. That was fun. But I mean, Jimmy was fucking peeled. So that's what I had to do. With, that's what I did with them. So Sam barely made classic. That's regional. And that's what I did. I, I brought them like right down so I could fucking really push the food because I think I think it pushes food an extra thirty percent or something for the for the British. So I it was a it's, it's a good tactic to do, like because because you, you don't want to leave it to chance. Imagine all that work and fucking you don't get you know in their class. How shite would that would be? Waiting is like five o'clock at night and you're on stage the next morning. Like what the fuck are you gonna do in that time? Exactly. They're led to like, well, it's not even that. It's literally if it's at five o'clock at night and you're just wait, making wait, like you've had fuck all throughout that day, and then you've got the you've got from fucking five six at night till ten o'clock the next morning. I mean, you're not even gonna stay up all night eating. You'd be screwed. Mm. It just doesn't work like that. So you really need no. to get practical. I think people are doing that the kind of wrong way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously, they've got like the stress of traveling as well. It's it's a it's a fine line to push sometimes, like. Aye, 100%. Like these, um, I'm so glad. Like, obviously, we still need to be peeled, but see, see across like all the classes that includes female classes, super heavy is just the fucking easiest one to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just get just as get the easiest for like getting into the show, yeah. But I mean, as in like terms of like, oh, we, what, adding the mass, no, that's it's oh, the hardest oh, no. in terms of adding mass, not even that, but landing like it's like what Chris Asito says, like. The bigger you are, the harder the plane it is to land. So it's like obviously right. trying to get the more muscle mass in peak condition is fucking hard to nail that. But 
yeah, like we don't have the stress of like trying to make or work or anything like that. We can just like peak cruise right in as like however your coach wants you. So it's a lot easier in that way. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. No, it was um my um what year? My uh the day of the show, my diet. I forgot to send you it, mate. I was I was gonna send you it, but I was I was just so fucking, you know. Um and Patrick sent me this, mate. I almost creamed in my fucking pants. Such a good like. Um meal one was um I kept it, I, I like I favorited it because I was like, I, I want to look at this because it's just so nice. 100 gram cream of rice, 100 gram of toast, a full tablespoon of jam. So you, I took the cunt with that. <laughs> I was like, was like hey, bang. One banana, 200 gram of steak, three whole eggs. And, and you just the same for everybody. I know, I know, but it's still fucking amazing. Yeah. And yeah. Two, two grams of salt. And it, it says underneath it, go go back to bed afterwards. And I was just like, on the, I didn't go back to bed, but I was just on the couch like that, like the most satisfied I've been in fucking four months. Yeah. Um, and the rest of the meals were dynamite as well. So it was like, I was so relaxed in the morning of the show because I had all this amazing food mm. um, and that. So it was, uh, oh, it was class, man. Do you know what? Um, oh, I was actually just uh, speaking to John about that earlier. We're kind of going back and forth about like, what um, would be good for me to, like what he wants me to do. And I was like saying, yeah, I think that'd be good. But I was like, I will, obviously my thing is my vacuum. I have quite a really good vacuum. So I want to keep that tight. Mm-hmm. I want to keep my meal small and it goes well. That's fucking easy. I mean, I'll give you 150 grams of uh, walnuts and that's it. First, is that it? Before you go on stage? Yeah. That's my meal. He goes, he goes, that's, that's a thousand calories right there. And he's like, we don't like, if, I, if I've got you full the night before, you wake up full, we don't need to do fuck all. I've got to get you fat so you'll stay full. So you do that, keep it like your looks, so like just keep a little sodium in water, whatever. He's like, we'll take about a litre of water before you go on stage. You go, this would be fucking spot and really do fuck all. Which, in the sense of it, and you think about it, it is true. Yeah. You have the fats, so obviously, that's just going to keep shit fucking at where it is. It's not going to, you're not going to burn through your glycogen stores or anything like that. So if I did that, man, I'd be fucking starving, but I mean, my waist would be insanely tight. Yeah. So. He's like, he's like, if you want to do that, we'll do that. It's, it's like, it's quite simple. It's not like he's like, oh, this is the fucking protocol. This is what I do for everybody. It's this and that. It's like, he's making things like, no, that's just stupid. We can make it as simple as you want it. Mm-hmm. So it is good in that sense. We kind of make it that simple. If that's what I want to do. Yeah. It's just going to be like seeing how it look the night before, which is going to be quite interesting. Yeah. 150 gram of walnuts is a lot of walnuts. <laughs> it's, still, uh, it's, it's still a good bit around, so. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, but that's a thousand calories. I mean, that's just going to keep my, like, force right into the muscles, push out my glycogen, so. Yeah. I mean, a, shoot. Uh, when I sent the photos to Patrick after the show, um, he was like, we can easily push fullness. Yeah, I would say like, probably could as well. Be yeah, de- I definitely pushed fullness. So, I mean, I only done, only carb loaded for two days. Um it wasn't aggressive either by any means. So I think um, the plan is to definitely you push. Look, I would say you looked more crispy than full. Like, yeah, um, I agree. Like the yeah. fullness was probably 50%, 50, 60%. Yeah, I agree. Said. I think you could have pushed a little bit more, but I mean, I think you, you kept the condition very well. The, just the only thing you probably had to do was just get fuller. Yeah. Um, I was I was very 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 happy with how it looked. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you had the condition, but I mean, it's like that is what is going to really with the show. It's not like you were lacking in the size department to try and push the fullness. So it's like how you played it was quite strong. Yeah. So it was um, by no means um, despite and obviously it was a good way, obviously good to learn and see for next time because I think I, I I don't know if I told you right. I think I did. Yeah, I did. So like my. The separation of my left leg has just been like because I'm I, I, I was so flat for so long because he, he yeah, did hammer me. You're exactly the same. That hip insertion, yeah, I put like a oh. bot, like a cure off piss easy. But to get that crisp hip insertion, you need to have some in there. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the hips and fucking hold it, and it's like if nothing's like pushing out that sweep, it's just not coming. Ah, uh, it was it was that middle head of the leg up into the hip uh, of the left leg. Sorry, and even the right. Like, there's a photo, that, you know the, the classic most muscular that I do, uh-huh. shot from the PCA two years ago, 
the one that I fucking recycled about 40 times. Yeah. Um, that shot, my legs, like you can fit a fucking small person between my legs, my, between the heads of my fucking quad. And that I didn't have that. And that was because I wasn't as full. Yeah. Um, so I, I said to Patrick, I was like, I want more separation in my legs. I want to be much fuller. Mm. And um, he was like, that's cool. Um, if we're going to be fuller, we need to be even tighter so that we know we can get away with the food. I was like, mate, fucking kill me. I don't care. Mm. Like, um, so, yeah, um, yeah that, that's kind of what I took away from that. So um, definitely push push the fullness a wee bit more. Because um, I was, I mate, know, I, like, the, that, just leading up to the show, I was still dying on the Wednesday before the show and we didn't carb the plate, nothing like that shit. I was dying and uh, I, I had arms to train. I was like, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't find the energy to fucking train arms. And I think if we push the food rather than the the Friday, push the food maybe Wednesday, Thursday, I think that's going to bring a much, much better look, fullness look. Yeah. I mean, so. I can tell when my legs are right because I got a split. Mm -hmm. I can I can see visually in my photos my split through my um like the middle of my quad I get a deep insertion but also my adductors have a split in them and I don't usually get I can get my adductors out I don't have the split in the middle so I know when that split comes in they're full and I can force them force it's pushing against the skin and I know if that's not there then I'm not full yeah. I can also try like and move the skin around my legs a little bit easier yeah it's just not pressing this thing so I know when that's happening so it's just I need to find that balance there but it's usually it always comes in well after they're well rested and just had a bit more food aye aye it's um I've only got like one top job leg session left which is my next session and it's probably just going to be like one working set of everything are you pulling back like pulling back by like 20% or something or I don't know because I pulled back my last session I didn't do like um any intensifiers, I dropped like uh, a couple sets of things and it was like, I was yeah, I was a bit sore next day, it wasn't major, it wasn't in, like my normal soreness, but I think next one's going to be even a bigger reduction, probably like 30%, mm -hmm. I'll probably miss out a certain exercise and probably just do like one set Right. so it's just sort of like no inflammation, but they've still got a, like pushed into a good load you know what I mean, yeah, not yeah. doing any fluffy stuff because it just fucking depletes them I just want to like drive some good blood into them, get them a bit heavy and just I'll still, still be safe. Yeah, yeah, Don't definitely. Do too stupid. No, you're like, fucking, you're like your fucking 330 stiff like dead. That's what you did. I did 320, but I mean, like, everyone's like commenting, like, I was fucking stupid. Even Jordan was like, you're a fucking knob. But it's just like, I was like, honestly, mate, like, I wouldn't, I honestly would not have touched that if I didn't feel safe. Like, that I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And it was literally like when people like, you probably just pull 300 and you're like, I reckon I can do like 320. I was like, no, nah, like this 320 is going to fucking move, move for more than one. And it was like, I was so confident and it did. It was felt quite really comfy. And I said to people, like, I would never have touched that if I didn't feel sensible. Yeah. But even looking back now, like how lean my back is, like there's no fat on my lower back. It's like, uh, it maybe was a little bit risky, but like I said, I felt safe. And even John's like, mate, if it's fucking there, take it. Aye. That's the kind of stuff that's really going to show in your physique. and it is what it is. I've done it and I felt safe. And the, but they, I did back off like my session yesterday and back and did like pause to do things. I felt great. But I wouldn't, have, but I actually felt that 320 on my back for like four or five days, <laughs> right across <laughs> the middle upper of my back. It was like such a shock. Like, it was just a new weight I've never touched. So it was like I felt it right across the middle of my back, like for four or five days. Yeah. Like, holy shit. Still I, mate, I, watched, I watched it like that. I was like, uh... <laughs> uh, but so, uh, honestly, um, I can't believe how fucking well it moved and like for yeah. that time. I was like, holy shit, nah, see, it was good. See, when I hit like a new PB with deadlifts or a variation of deadlifts, it feels like my lower back does this, it like splits open like that. It's fucking yeah. weird, mate. I, like, it's just like my body's like, whoa, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just doing like this new fucking technique where I can like almost pick it up with like my middle, like my middle on my back and my traps pull it up too. Mm -hmm. But like I, I feel it right down my rectus, like. But it's just a new kind of way I've started pulling. But it's just it's, I would say it's given me more 
back in a sense like I can feel it across all my back instead of like pulling my conventional deadlift yeah so it's working quite well for me but it's it's not like I would say people like try and do it like this because it's not that easy to fucking pick up that weight with like your middle of your back aye aye it's not um, something I would recommend <laughs> <laughs> I put um, paused um, stuff like that's back into my plan yeah I tore my hip honestly mate like even just hinging with 60 i was like oh, fuck i can feel this mm. um so i done i done 200 today um for eight eight pause reps so and it felt really good there was no hip at all so yeah. definitely push it up to your numbers going i'm forward. actually feeling the ones like i did yesterday where like i pick it up off the floor pause and then drive i'm actually feeling them like way more because that initial stop off the floor because it's held like with the initial pickup of your erector, so like you've really got to hold it in there, mm. and then the fucking drive is pulling right up your upper back, so it's like coming from there right to your traps. Yeah, I'm feeling that much, much better than this nice control negative because the paused ones, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it as much as these. I really enjoy doing the ones from the floor, it's a harder movement. Mm. Um, yeah, and then I've done, um. I done a cluster with pause stiff legs after it. I was like, oh, what the fuck am I doing? But um, I think now, see the energy that I gained from all the shite that I ate, mm-hmm. it's gone. It's, uh, it's gone now. And I think what's happened is I've had five incredible sessions since um, since that show. Mm-hmm. And I'm just fucked. Like CNS has done, like I done, um, so I, to- I took it. I toned it back two weeks out. So I was like, I'm not going to bench, decline bench 180. Like, I'm asking for it. Um, right. So I would do two sets, two straight sets, like 12 to 15 with 140. That's what I did two weeks out. But like, the, when I went in on uh, on Tuesday, I was like, fuck it, I'm going to do 180. There was a, oh, like... There was a big voice in the back of my head going, "Do not do 180." I was the same with my three twenty. I was literally standing yeah. at the back of the day. I didn't. I had it in film, but I took it out. But I'm literally standing there for two minutes, just like headphones in, like that, <laughs> looking at the bar, like psyching myself into it. I'm like, I can fucking do this. I can fucking do this. Yeah. Matt was sitting across me. Matt's like, oh, "Guys, I'm gonna pull this fucking thing." <laughs> it's literally just like. <laughs> I just matched up to it and pulled it but it's like I was literally questioning it for ages there was that voice here and that right. one here and I was like I know I can do it and everyone was like don't be a cunt I know and like, even after all that I unracked it I got obviously I got Reagan to like Reagan can Reagan can't spot me but she can help me unload it from the rack and like she was standing behind me and I was like this does not compute in my head, yeah. I'm like, this, this is this is unsafe 101. But I got four reps out of it, and they were clean as fuck. So I was like, right, that's enough of the silliness. Don't do anything daft the rest of the session. So, have you ever yeah. had like a moment like worse than that, where like you're really got into like a fucking like you're way to get into a set, you're really psyched into like let's fucking go, and you pick it up, and there's just shit. There's oh just, yeah, yeah, hundreds of times. That's not what happened. Yeah. But, but then like. Do you, do you would you rack it or you're like nah I can fucking do it? No, I keep going. I would keep going. But I, yeah, I know I'm just, I'm, keep going. Even if I felt horrendous, I'm like, there's something just not right here. Oh, what was it? I did it was this week. Was it T bar rows? I done just like uns- like free T bar rows just just because I wanted to. I wanted to do like heavy fucking rows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um it was my fourth exercise, lower back's goosed, hips feeling it a wee bit, biceps <laughs> are gone. I was like, this is atrocious. In fact, oh, fuck, I'm not filming this because this is so bad. Um, but other than I, I know what you mean, mate. It's, uh, it's, yeah. I was like, I'm doing 12 reps, but I don't give a fuck. I'm doing the oh. set. So I just got up, unwrapped, uh, unwrapped turned to Chris and went, that was disgusting. But <laughs> it was uh, when we just got all the new kit in the gym, and, mm. uh, I was playing about with the hack and like everyone's like, oh, the Cybex hack's the hideous hack, blah, blah. I got the six plates and I, I did a rep. That's not so bad. Like I'll, I'll do my first working set of six and a half plates. And I did it and my knees felt great. And I got like a good eight reps. And I thought, oh. that was good. Next, next week, I'm going for the fucking glorious event. And I remember 
I said to Ronnie the gym owner, I was like, when I because it's weird because where the head bit is, it tilts, so it sits forward. Yeah, yeah. But when you try to get into it, you've got to wiggle because you've got to lock it and then I have to wiggle myself in. So I was like, if I set myself, push up, can you unlock the thing so I'm, I'm good to go? And I pushed it up and he unlocked it. I was like, like this does not feel right. I was just like, should it go down? And I was like, fuck it, I'm already here. And I went down uh, and I was trying to go as slow as possible. And I was getting down. I was like, oh, there's some pressure in me. Like, yeah. <laughs> I got down and I pushed up more. I was like, that wasn't that bad. Hold on, I'll go for a second. I got to like my third rep. I was like, there's a bit of pressure coming in my right knee here. Uh-huh. I was like, I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> just get it. Like, just get it went fucking horrendous. But I got to like, I think I got seven or eight. I can't remember. But it's just like, I, I racked it. I was like, thank fuck. That could have went horrendously wrong. Aye, aye. Oh, so someone fuck. across the gym is getting a fucking kneecap bursting out your fucking joint in your face. Aye, because... It's a weird, I don't know what it is, but that in the Cybex leg press, the hub, like, it feels like they've got a camber motion to them. So when you're down, you're coming up, it's almost like there's a band pulling you back down. Right. It's very, I don't know why, it's maybe just because it's new, but I was literally like coming up and it's like, shit, this drive's getting hard. And it's like, I'm coming up with all okay, and it's like, fucking hell, what the hell's pulling me down? It's the same with the leg press, but I think it's maybe just because they're new, but there's like a almost like a power resistance comes in as you're mm-hmm. driving up. It's good, but when you've got like a load against you, you're not used to the machine, you're like, oh, I wasn't expecting this. Mm-hmm. A bit of a shocker. Yeah, I'm excited to try them when I come back up to Aberdeen, but um, yeah, you, you just you just know like a Cybex hack is just like that for me. I've never actually used one in a session. I've like... It's just so fucking... I don't know what it is. Like, as I said, it is hard. I think it's like what I'm speaking about. It's like a little bit of resistance almost against, but it's what the thing that's what makes it good because it's so the motion of it is so good and controlled. And I don't know what because obviously you can't move the foot plate or anything, it's like where it is, is that's how it is. Yeah, and that's the only thing I've not had knee pain on. It's strange because you have to have your feet quite far back on it. Um, but when you get into the motion of it, it's just so fucking good. It's hard to explain. You really need to like just try it and see, but it's it's so good, but so hard. Yeah, I have offered. Yeah, I, uh, Jay- rest the I have offered Jason to chip like go halves on a side bike hack, um, but like I'm done fucking offering money and him being like that. No, so um, yeah. I suppose it's it's so funny because obviously um, Ronnie, the gym owner, he's like a kid in a candy shop right now with like. Yeah, even though he's spending his money, he's just like, mate, what else can I buy? Mm-hmm. He's just like obsessed with like buying new kit. I'm like, this is great. It's class, it's like one of my gym owner. Like, oh no, it's like when the I bent the the gym pin the other week, um, because he bought this small study one. I was like, mate, you should have bought the long one. So I went and put like three plates, three uh, twenties on it, so sixty, and I fucking got it up. And when I came down, it caught the plate and bent the pin. I was like, this is what I told you was going to happen. So he's yeah, really yeah. Like, well, he went and bought a proper one because of that. But uh, he said to me, if I, if I break any of the Nautilus stuff, he's going to buy the plate loaded ones. I was like, fucking right, we're breaking the <laughs> watch me break it. Watch me break it then. I know, watch me fucking break it. get some plate loaded stuff. Uh, he's, uh, he's literally bought every single piece of uh, banana kit. Fucking right, man. That's awesome. <laughs> it's like, but it wasn't even that. He was going for like 20 pieces. And every time he'd done it, he was like, look at that one. I'll add that. <laughs> and then he's like, what... oh, I've got that back machine. Oh, that looks good, I'll add that. I fucking just kept that and he just bought everything. It's about fucking time someone in Aberdeen, we've been saying this for how long? 10 years? It's about time someone in fucking Aberdeen like, realised, just like Jason did with Future, fill it with the best fucking kit and then you've already separated yourself from every other fucking gym in Aberdeen, which isn't hard to do considering it's mostly commercial gyms. There's no good private gyms now at all. Yeah. Like nothing but kit. But I mean, it's like, literally, if you went and stepped in a warehouse now, you wouldn't recognise it, but it's also the atmosphere as well. It's like, he's so fucking chilled. Like, he obviously walks about the gym all day and speaks to everybody. And that's like what you want from a gym owner. Right. But literally the amount of new people that have came just because they've got, like, the hack and the new leg press and they know what's coming and it's it's mental like the amount of people and they're just happy being there now and it's yeah. literally like quite a chilled environment but even just like little things he's buying like the texas fucking 
deadlift bar from it because I was getting really into my my deadlift. He's like, "Oh, do you think we should buy a test deadlift bar?" I was like, "Yeah, they're probably a really good investment." And it was like mm. five hundred quid, and he was like, "Yeah, fuck it, let's get one." And got like the roll clips for it and everyone. The roll clips are fucking amazing, man. They're the best clips ever. I love my Texas bar, man. That's gonna be with me until I die. You need to buy the rogue clips. These things are like fucking kung fu grips. I'm not joking. They will not move a millimeter from when they're clamped on. Mm -hmm. They grip the bar like they're welded on. Are they collars? They snap collars. But it's like there's. I don't know what it is. It's like it's got like a brushed, uh, polished um, steel thing on the inside that's like being sanded, so it's so rough. And the clip opens like another way, so you can slide on, and it locks, and you lock it again. Oh, all right, okay. That's up against the thing. I'm not even joking, mate. Like it will not fucking move. I've used all like the strength shot clips, all the other types of clips, and they all move when you've got a good. Oh, yeah. the bar. And the, well, the Texas bar bends, so when they're doing their touch on down, the plates just fucking shake off. Aye, aye. And the, and the clips were like fifteen quid. My looking game, man. So 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 fucking good. So good. I would recommend anybody get those clips if this if the plates come off the bars. Amazing. I'll have a look at them now. Hold on. Rogue oh, said. Rogue clips. Yeah, that like that textile bar is amazing. But those plates as well, I love. Oh, yeah. oh they're cool. Aye. So good. Uh, fucking getting turned on by another five hundred. <laughs> and you bought fifteen hundred kilos worth of plates. Fucking hell. Good on you. Uh, a lot like, like, like I said, about time someone did that. Yeah, um, those pro plates are really good. But I mean, it's like little things. Like, do you know what? Actually, behind the the walls, front and back of the warehouse, are another two rooms in the gym. So there, we all get knocked knocked down. Oh, so yeah, we okay. Actually, put more kit in. That's class. Yeah, it's just going to be so much bigger and more open. I'm like, obviously, the building's not the best. We've always known that, but like, what it's been made into is. Fucking awesome. Yeah. No, like about time, mate. It's been far, far too long. Nobody's needed it for so, so long. long. So long. Obviously, like the oil money is not as big as it was, but like I'm you'd you'd have thought back in the day when oil was at its peak that there'd be fucking amazing gym after amazing gym, but it never happened. Well, that's that that's the city as a in a, as a whole. Um the city was fucking neglected while the fucking oil millionaires and billionaires fucking made their money. Um, but no, that's that's good that that's kind of you've got your place now and you've actually got a fucking gym to train in at your level. So yeah, I mean, um, obviously the Panatta kit is not built for like heavy loads or strength, but I mean, like it is going to be great kit and like it is mostly plate loaded, so it will work well. Has he got the primer or anything? But I mean, you know what I mean. Has he got the Panatta pin-loaded chest press? Mm. Once we load the plates at the bottom, rather than the... Yeah, I know what one you mean. He literally got everything. Eh? Ah, that was the one they had at B1 in Dubai. That was fucking amazing. It was so good. So... Yeah, I mean, the only kit, like I said, like, obviously, when he, he wanted my advice on uh, most of the kits when we spoke about it. I was like, obviously, in my head, I was like, by prime. But then it came to the point, like... It, it's not, we're not, it's not going to be that gym. And it's like the most of the people going there are going to be gym pop and they're going to be looking at that like, why the fuck is there three loading pins? <laughs> the the world will be like, how the hell do you use this thing? And it's like, it's just not going to commute. Aye. So, in that aspect of things, like, yeah, he's, he's went for a very um, good brand and a, for commercial kind of gym pop fucking people. So, it is going to be very, very popular, and it is most of it is plate loaded, so it is going to work very well. Supposedly, the Panatta kit is amazing to use. It's supposedly smooth as ever. I like it. Yeah, I've never used it, so I'm really looking forward to it. But I mean, like, obviously, you know, grand scheme of things, probably <coughs> perfect for us would have been like Prime or Atlantis. Like that's where we would probably progress the most on stuff. Like that. that that you know, Atlantis flat press, that plate loaded press yeah. that I used it oh fucking hell me that's unreal. That's so good man. I'm gonna mention it Jason again about me, I'll buy that. Just tell me where I can put it and I'll buy it. Um, I think that's what uh Jordan said like that shoulder press and like the prime ones are probably the best pressing machines there is like those aye. two pieces of kit. Um, we can beat that. Two I still highly rate the knotless chest press that like we've got, but it'd be better if it was obviously plate loaded. 
Aye, the one that's been there since fucking 1964. Yeah, so fucking good. They're probably one of the best chess pads ever made. It's mm. just like bust the shit now, it's kind of stretched and everything. Aye. That's probably my bad. <laughs> Aye. Fucking jumping and all. Um we got thing marks there, don't go play anymore. Mm. I wait, well that's um that's been an hour. And yeah. um mind I was saying how like almost patched the podcast. Mm. Yeah, that's how I feel now. <laughs> I fucked me. <laughs> fucked. Um, no, obviously I want to. Obviously, I'll, uh, well, I'm going to speak to you mm-hmm. probably in the next ten minutes or so. But um, I all the best for for Sunday, mate. Um, I'm sure everyone watching the podcast is going to be watching your progress and um, watching you hopefully pick up another another win and overall uh, overall. Sorry. So yeah. I think it's just a, a smooth kind of. I'm I'm more like I'm not worried about the show. It's more so like the traveling and Aye. the tan and just everything kind of going out the flights, all that kind of shit. That's the kind of stress at the moment, just with everything going on. But like when that goes kind of smooth and I'm tanned and I'm like in the part, like I know the next day is going to be good. I think that's just the kind of the relax and I want, and then it's just going to be obviously the road to the Arnold after that. But yeah, this is I just kind of want everything to go smooth. Yeah. Um... So yeah, we've um it's been twenty episodes, mate, of this. I can't believe that. It's fucking mad. Yeah. Um obviously we get a lot of good a lot of good feedback from these. Um I think people just love hearing two guys at our level kind of talking shite, talking the real the real shit about this sport, which is um can be quite eye opening, quite fucking well, sometimes dangerous at some points. But um so yeah, guys, if anyone who's watching, please feel free to DM, DM us. Um, Some topics, topics you like, yeah, questions, you know, people whatever. Me and like they said, like they quite like the information we've put out because it's something that like it's just not handed out for free. Aye. Um. Well, there is there is obviously when you look at like Jordan's site and stuff like that, there's a lot of good information handed free. But I mean, like you know, people watch their podcast to find sites up and other. We do give out some information, but if there's any topics or questions you'd like us to cover or anything like that, just write in the comments and we'll pick it up the next time. Definitely. Um, let's see anything else. No, so obviously we've not got a podcast next next Sunday, but um, we'll find out how how you get on, and then uh, we'll discuss the following. Yeah, we'll discuss the week after that, or get a midweek one or something. Ah, uh, the week after that, and then we'll I'll probably be back to being not being able to talk. So yeah, um, what was I say? Bye. Yeah. So, cheers, guys. Thanks for listening. And uh, until next time. Cheers, guys.